Yep. Gotta get him in. Alright, woo hoo hoo! Oh, How disappointing, mate. He's beating us in here. There's so much country on this 50 meter line. Come on. Oh. I think it's perfect for this side. Oh, nice. Great, mate. Off we go. Well, welcome back to another episode. Uh, today is a pretty special trip for me because uh, I turn another year older. <laughs> 39 today, so inching inching closer towards 40. But uh, yeah, super pumped, super excited. Couldn't sleep well last night because I was that pumped. Um, got a really good mate, Brad, on board, which you would have seen from the last video. So yeah, Brad's just hiding over there. <laughs> there he is. Keeping a low profile. <laughs> He's just keeping a low profile. Um, but yeah, super stoked. Uh, awesome weather window coming up. So um, two days on the reef and we've got everything packed to sleep overnight, but uh, we'll just see how we go. Uh, we're going to fish for reefies this morning and we're going to do a little bit of a challenge. Uh, Brad's going to fish Paternoster rigs and I'm going to fish uh, with the Berserker Meatheads. Uh, we're going to see who catches the biggest fish and who catches the most fish. Uh, we'll probably do that for the first two hours or so. We'll see how it goes and um, we'll just assess where we go from there. So sit back, grab uh, your favourite cold beverage and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy some of the content coming up. Let's go. There's a couple of new colours out from Berserker. This one's an orange one. Um, I'm going to tie on this 300 gram berserker um the hooks have all been upgraded there so yeah we'll see how they go just rigging up the 300 gram berserker now with a bit of mackerel fillet again let's see how it goes so using barthy maps uh we've just found a little spot here in about 58 meters and uh, a couple of little lines down the bottom there so we'll have a look and see what's happening okay, let's have a drop mate So we've marked some good fish that we want to, or an area that we want to fish, and so there's obviously different ways that you can fish a spot. You could obviously spot lock an anchor on it, or you could drift through it. At the moment we're using the technique of basically just drifting through it, so I'll drive up 50 to 100 metres, um, just um, in the direction where the current's going, um, so that way we're up current. So by the time I'm in reverse and the boat's sort of sliding backwards, I'm as vertically up and down as much as possible. Um, so we can stay straight up and down on the marks. I, f I find that being straight up and down on the marks, it's a lot better than being, you know, with your lines 45 degrees out at an angle. Um, I just find that you fish generally a lot better. Do a slow lift just to check. A couple of lines off the bottom, eh? So I might just slowly jig it up to see what happens. Eh? be a bit more active. Oh, yep, you came and nailed it, Brad. Halfway yes. up, buddy. Oh, I just oh, pulled no. off. I just paused and he came and nailed it. As I was jigging it off, I was probably eight meters off the bottom there. Yeah. See how he come up, 45? 10 meters off the bottom. I don't know what they are. Have I set the hooks this time? Yeah, I have set the hooks this time. He just followed it down, so yeah, see how like they weren't doing much on the bottom. It's got some nice head thumps. Yes, Brad, set him, buddy. Yeah, mate. Woo -hoo. Double hooked up, mate. Yoo -hoo -hoo. Just kill that engine. Why we don't bring any sharks in, I guess. And then when you're fighting good reds and nannies, which we, I suspect we might have on here. I mean, if there's sharks around, obviously you've got to winch them up as quick as you can, but usually I find that just a nice smooth rhythm, they're never going to really bury you too much. You all good, buddy? Yeah, mate. Yep. Maybe good fish. I've got colour, mate. I think mine's a red, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this is so cool mate, birthday present. no better birthday present, thanks so much Brad, woohoo, 
Look at that. The water's so clear, mate. All right, let's get him in. Birthday fish, got to get him in. <laughs> yep, yes, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, nice Happy red, birthday. Nice <laughs> Happy birthday to me. I'll come give you a hand, Bradley. Yes, mate, woo -hoo -hoo. High five, mate. Hey. You called it. Nice work, Brad. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together, man. <laughs> Had an Oster rigs, two hook rig, and one of the hooks is right down his gob. <laughs> yep, he's taking that down. He's, that was his breakfast. <laughs> there we have it. Birthday fish with a good mate, Brad. And uh, what a double hookup. We've got a beautiful largemouth nanogai that Brad's holding. And I'm holding a beautiful red emperor. Um, I don't know, it probably doesn't get old fishing for reds and nannies, does it, Brad? It doesn't, mate. And this, <laughs> like this morning, that's like the first, first drop, first drift. Couldn't ask for any better, eh? Yeah, that's, uh, mate, I'm so speechless at the moment and uh, super, super thankful. What a birthday present, mate. So, yeah, no, you drift, eh, mate. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. All right, we're gonna do another drift and uh, see if these fish and we can keep competing, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, one each, mate. Just a bit of fun. But yeah, all right, let's, let's keep going. Woo! So you can see there, I dropped that fish first and then I uh, hooked him again, but I was jigging the berserkers about eight to 10 meters off the bottom and these reds were coming off uh, that far off the bottom and eating it. So it's pretty cool when they're that hungry. Righto, we're just lining up our second drift. Just let it free fall as quick as possible to the bottom because that first, you know, 80% of the water column we're not fishing, so you just let it free fall and just fly out of your fingertips. Ooh. Oh, Brad, one buddy. just grabbed it 10 meters off the bottom, buddy. Just that slow little. He's not really doing as much. Ooh, offended him. Oi. <laughs> Must be reasonable. Yeah. He's giving us a little bit of curry now, but yeah. much country on this 50 meter line so we're sort of just stopping every couple hundred meters and having a drop and just seeing what's down there righto good luck brad third drop one up on me now no you just you just give me a head start that's all you are you're, you're very kind mate <laughs> Gentlemen, looking after the birthday boy. <laughs> yeah, mate, I can't beat you today. No, 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 no. That's all right. <laughs> tomorrow is a different day. You'll be all, all, all guns are blazing tomorrow. Tomorrow you'll be going to town on me. <laughs> You're doing the short jabs and the long swings. <laughs> all good fun, mate. It's not doing much now, eh? No. I'm doing a bit slower. That's not a bad idea. What is he? Unless he's a big trout. Is he? Yes, look. Oh, no, he's a tomato cod. Oh, wow. A tomato cod. <laughs> well, two species, two hookups, two all. <laughs> so, Brad just pulled up this, uh, what is it, tomato cod, is it? Or? Yeah, tomato yeah. cod, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and um, he's just noticed in its mouth um, a bit of snake skin. And Volte, mate, if you're watching off 1770 or off Gladstone there, mate, um, Volte's always been a big advocate. He's told me over the years, when you see sea snakes on the water, um, there's obviously good ground nearby. And um, this actual fish has actually eaten a sea snake. It's just a juvenile one. But, um, yeah, it just shows you um, they must live on the same ground, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, mate. Go, Brad. He's a really nice fish, mate. <laughs> you got him? Oh, oh no. That's all right, drop it back down. Got him back? Yes, Brad. <laughs> Love your work, mate. It won't be so, so quick to oh. put him in all this time. Oh, wow. Dark, mate. You're kidding. 
Oh yeah, I think he might have just got shot. Yeah, he's got a head now. Oh, right. was it a red? She was a red. Dull. See, there you go, Brad. Brad just got hooked up on a nice fish, and the sharks just munched half of it off. How disappointing, mate. Yeah. Sorry about that, bud. That's right. Your, your top hook's gone too, mate. So, yeah, Brad's running the Paternoster, the two, two hook system. And so, yeah, now that we've been sharked, we're obviously not going to fish this particular area. We're just going to move on because otherwise, um, yeah, the sharks just get really attuned to um, outboard noises and blood in the water, etc. So, yeah, we don't want to feed them and ruin the spot. So, we'll just keep moving on. Sorry, mate. All good. It's all right. That's fishing. Yeah. Pretty much just timed it so that we'll get right on top of it as soon as we get down there. There we go, we're gonna get to pink. Should be down there. Good luck, Brad. Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah mate. Just cut out a little bit of line. Got some colour. Oh, do you know what? This is my first one. Oh, no. I've never uh, caught one of these before. That's so cool. Yeah, like a cattle cod or something, or maybe a purple Maori, maybe? I think it's a purple Maori, mate. This is my first purple Maori, I think it is. <laughs> never actually caught one. I've always seen them back off 1770, people catch them, but uh, yeah, this is actually my first one. So, new species for me on the 300 gram pink berserker. So, pretty stoked. Cheers, Brad. <laughs> Is it three all now? <laughs> Got to be some lurking, something else lurking down there, mate. I think so. Look, I'm getting bites, Brad. Oh, just resist the urge to strike till it loads up. Still fight well for their size. Whew. There we go, nothing. Can't have a trip without catching one of these. <laughs> Spangled emperor. Beautiful fish. Off he goes. Whew. Better bite? Go, Brad. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Love it when a plan comes together, mate. Brad's wrestling this nice fish. I haven't been able to get a wine on him yet. That's alright. Which I think was a shark. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Hang on, I'll give you a hand. Give you a hand, mate. All good. Oh, this is really nice, mate. Okay. Watch out for a sec. Oh, that's crazy. Brad's now jumped back in the lead with a double hookup. <laughs> My, it's got a really nice thread from sea perch just here, so beautiful colours on him. Nice work, mate. Yep, he can go back. Yep, let's plonk him back in. Nice. Bradley, the uh, nannies just can't stay away from you today. <laughs> no, I know. This is the second one. And um, you see a few scales rubbed up there because of the second fish rubbing up against him as I was pulling them up. But yeah, another nice fish, eh? Absolutely, mate. You're on fire with the nannies today. <laughs> this fish looks like in a lot better condition than the first one, but um, yeah. yeah. Nice work, buddy. Oh, thanks, mate. Awesome. There we go, just mixing up the colours. Gonna whack uh, this 250 gram berserker. It's sort of got a yellow lime tinge with a bit of uh, pinkish purple on the side. Pretty funky looking. <laughs> Let's see how we go. Let's whack another bit of bait on. Got some potty mackerel this time. Alrighty, let's go. So what Brad and I are doing at the moment, we're basically just doing a controlled drift over the mark. Um, so we're both able to fish vertically straight up and down, um, usually without tangling. Sometimes obviously if you hook a fish, um, they do tangle the lines, but generally you can fish two or three guys in a boat. Um, as long as you stay the outboard straight in reverse, um, it's the most dominant force. So obviously the current today is gonna to be the strongest force. Just about to get down now. So. Good thing about these hybrid systems, you know, you can just jig it, you can leave it down there, you can have the best of 
both worlds really. Oh, something's really nibbling us now. Yep. yep. Thanks, Brett. Oh. You all right? Wow. Jeez. Yeah, he's a good fish. Oh yeah, mine's just peeling the line too. Go Brad, get him up mate. I can't budge mine barely as well. Wow. This is crazy mate. Just get a couple of little wines on him. Get him off the bottom. I was wondering why I was hurt in the hurt locker. So it seems like you know that 50 to 60 or 50 to 70 meter depth is the most consistent for reds that I've found. Um, just a whole bunch of blue dots just stacked up really tight on the bottom there. That's definitely what you're looking for when you're looking for a red emperor ground. Um, it's typically like fern or like uh, rubble. Um, and that's sort of what they love sitting on and obviously the bait and whatnot that gets attracted to that particular area. But um, yeah, pretty cool. There we go, gone to the 250 gram orange berserker now after those two big threadfin sea perch yes straight on buddy. yeah mate don't hit the bottom yet <laughs> wow good fish yeah mate <sighs> just holding on for dear life at the moment mate Thing I don't get taxed. This is probably our ninth or tenth spot at the moment Brad and I have gone to so we're just literally doing one or two quick drops every drift and moving on. This guy's lit up eh? <laughs> Thanks Brad. Gentlemen, oh, get him in. Oh, yeah. Nice work, Brad. I got this, mate. You go. Nice work, Brad. Yeah, mate. You. I'm coming over, buddy. Stop. Put the wrong arm on the wrong arm. That's okay. Nice work, Brad. Walk it right around, buddy. Yep. What do you reckon it is, Brad? Well, I think it might be the same, eh? Do you reckon? Well, that's not a bad thing. Two reds, buddy. No way. You are kidding me. That is crazy. Oh, nice. That's crazy, Brad. Give me a high five, buddy. You. Hey, one drift, three reds. <laughs> We've been uh, searching near ground with Bathy maps, so we're definitely not in the same areas as we were fishing and uh, been doing a lot of different drifts and sounding around. This is probably our 10th spot here and uh, yeah, we've uh, stumbled across a couple of beautiful redfish, mate. Yeah, no, very good. <laughs> so yeah, pretty pretty special, but uh, yeah, Brad and I won't, won't keep anymore. That's four reds for us over the two days, so we'll uh, let everything else go if we uh, do get any more reds, but um, yeah, pretty glamorous conditions today. No, and it's, it's a good day, mate, and birthday to go along with it, so. Yeah, that's it, so. Oh, awesome, Laura. Right, let's get these guys on the ice. <laughs> it's up, eh? Yeah, mine's swimming up too, it's weird. Have we both got each other, maybe? Yeah, maybe now. I'll just quickly lift yeah. him in, if that's all right. I'll cut my line. Uh, we'll just cut. <laughs> this greedy bugger's eating both ours. <laughs> so it's a joint fish. <laughs> <laughs> joint joint tally mate. It's a joint tally. It's a half and a half. <laughs> well, get Alright, well I'll pop this guy back in the drink mate. Off he goes. See ya mate. Well we didn't catch too much on the top water front. I uh, just gave it a couple of quick casts for about 20 minutes and uh, 
I got a little impatient because I was uh, very keen to jump back in the water. So yeah, we'll, um, we'll jump back into the water because uh, I haven't speared for a couple of weeks. So as you know, I'm very addicted to spearing at the moment. So <laughs> I've twisted Brad's arm. We're, uh, the current's still running pretty hard. So we're going to try and stay close to the boat. And then as it subsides a little bit later this afternoon, we'll, um, we'll sort of be able to venture out a bit further. Let's see how we go. Boy. I haven't got a good shot at him. Safety's on. I'm lost for words, Brad, because I've been I've been throwing up in the water today. I'm not feeling great. I don't know why, but um, yeah, when I jumped in with Brad before, pretty much after five minutes, I was feeling a little queasy and just threw up. But uh, not the world's best shot on this guy. But uh, yeah, managed to shoot him just in the gut and then just sort of lightly hung onto him by his skin and then <laughs> got into the boat with Brad's help. So super stoked. It's first fish for the day that I speared, but. Uh, yeah, just a little one, but uh, going to be nice. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Very good. Just be a nice trout. Good job, buddy. Ain't real big, but anyway. It's all right. Not bad. I thought I'd just do a bit of a recap from uh, the little fishing comp Brad and I had. Didn't get the chance to film it on the water, so uh, Brad ended up with just uh, I think ten fish overall. I think I ended up with eight or nine, uh, but we sort of agreed that I ended up probably with a better uh, quality fish in terms of size and Brad obviously got the numbers, but um, yeah, pretty close overall. The Berserkers definitely, uh, yeah, definitely uh, produced the goods, but uh, these are some new colors that they've got anyway, so definitely jump on, check them out um, if you haven't already, and uh, use that discount code JCF. Um, but yeah, that's a wrap for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next episode. Stay safe.